was on base an awful lot tonight and Kyle coming in you had not had much success against CJ Wilson. Did you change your approach against him. Uh, thank you for pointing that out first <laughs> off but uh, yeah you know it was somebody that you got a battle against you know and that's uh, you know I think that's what we do and that's what we talked about and trying to stick with the game plan. You have seen an awful lot of him. Was he different tonight than what you've seen before? He's tough. You know, he's a, he's a guy you have to compete against. You know, he's got really good stuff. You know, obviously, you know, he's going to get his strikeouts. And I think if you can uh, battle him and, you know, lay off some tough pitches, you got a chance. You are now hitting over 300 against lefties. I'm sure that gives you a lot of confidence at the plate. But anything that maybe Edgar's helped you with in the last couple of weeks? He's been great with the, you know, with your mentality and everything. He's been phenomenal. You know, there's a, there's a lot to be learned, obviously, from a guy like him. And, you know, as much as he works at it and, you know, obviously knows he's, a, he's been a great help. And lastly, the play in the first inning to get the out at home plate for Kuma to get out of the jam. How much did that set the tone for what we saw happen later in the game? Kuma was phenomenal. You know, they got base loaded, no outs, and, you know, him to get out of that and then, you know, just completely shut them down the rest of the game was phenomenal. They did indeed. Kyle Seeger, a big part of that. Thanks, Kyle. We'll let you get inside. And, you know, Brad, when you take a look at the numbers, I know Kyle doesn't want to see him, but very, very impressive what he was able to do tonight and the last few weeks.